Okay, so this is our CML sun photometer instrument we have now at the University of Nevada, Reno. It's we're part of Aeronet, and we're going to watch it operate during this day. So we can see, for example, in the background we have clouds forming. These are associated with the frontal system. Now you can see those scans are sun scans. The sun photometer is looking directly at the sun, and so every 15 minutes or so it looks at the sun and does a measurement at all of the wavelengths, all nine of the wavelengths. That continues. You can see the wave cloud in the background forming. There's uh, another sun scan, sun scan, and sun scan, and sun scan again, sun scan again, sun scan, and now Al Mukantar scans. These are scans of the sky in the vicinity of the sun. Those are primarily used for determining the aerosol size distribution. The scan that looked like the instrument was uh, moving in the vertical and back and forth uh, from the vertical to the horizontal, it's called the principal plane scan, and that's a zenith um, angle changing scan. The Al Mukantar scans are done at constant zenith angle. So there's another Al Mukantar scan going right there you can see where the four or, or so wavelengths are measured uh, in the vicinity of the Sun. This day wasn't exactly a great aerosol day because of the clouds but it makes a great day for making a photograph, uh, photographic image of the, the Sun photometer in operation. There's a principal plane scan there. You can see it going uh, around in essentially 360 as it goes. There's a sun scan. Now, by now, well, you have the uh, clouds starting to dominate, so the sun photometer is going to be uh, not really producing great data for aerosol. But, again, it's a good day to look at the thing in operation because of the nice cloud background. Okay, there's another sun scan. And should have another sun scan coming up here. Sun scan there. Alman Cantor scans, looking at the vicinity of the direction of the, s the sun, but uh, nearby from about three to six degrees uh, off of the direct sun direction. And there's a sun scan. And now let's see what we get. There's a sun scan there. Nice clouds. Sun scan. And let's see. Sun scan again, looking directly at the sun, measuring AOD, aerosol optical depth, or total optical depth. There's another sun scan. So you can see as the day goes on that the direction of the sun scan changes, of course, as this one's closer to the vertical direction as we're closer to solar noon at this time. The clouds really built this day and we had some precipitation in the following day. Okay, what do we have here? You can see the wind blowing the cables around quite a bit. It was getting windier and windier as this day went on as the storm system moved closer to Reno. And we're close to the end of the video now. Uh, we stopped it at this point.